gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I ask unanimous consent to enter into the following Joint Committee on Taxation Analysis that shows that families earning $75,000 to $100,000 are four times more likely to have a tax hike under this bill than a tax cut. Without objection. Thank you. I'm proud to yield one minute to the gentleman from uh, Tennessee, Mr. Kustoff. The gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you. I thank the ranking member. Madam Speaker, I rise today in strong opposition to what the Democrats called the Inflation Reduction Act, which is really the Inflation Expansion Act. Americans are grappling with an economy in recession and the highest inflation that we've seen in 40 years. We're experiencing worker shortages, empty grocery shelves, and higher energy prices. Now congressional Democrats are doubling down on this out-of-control spending that led to this economic crisis. This package that we're voting on today will raise taxes on hardworking middle-class families. It will authorize 87,000 new IRS agents to target individuals and small businesses. It will reduce life-saving health care innovation by allowing the government to impose price controls on drugs. It will hurt energy producers, and it will certainly worsen inflation. I'm voting against this fundamentally flawed and defective package because families, farmers, and small businesses across West Tennessee and across the nation need real solutions to these problems, not more taxes and not more government spending. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Massachusetts.